Hello and welcome to the Diva Home and Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Brenda Douglas of the 50 Plus Home Team, and I help people to not only procure a home investment, but also maintain and keep it. Furthermore, we help people to gracefully age in place, downsize or right size into the perfect home. I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so that you can receive a notification whenever we upload another episode. We want to welcome you to the family. Stay tuned. Hello, 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 guys. It's Brenda Douglas, your senior and agent in place agent. And I want to talk to you about some ways that you can increase the value of your home. But first, you need to be aware that not all home improvements increase your home value, right? So you want to choose wisely. Although there are some strategies and improvements that you can make, you just want to be careful that if you are about to sell your home, you don't want to put in so much money into improvements when you are about to relocate. But here's some ways, here are some ways that you can increase your home value. Number one, curb appeal. I cannot stress enough, that enough. Curb appeal, when people look at your home on the outside, first of all, it is the first thing that they see. So it is the first impression, right? When they go online, whether they're driving by, the first thing that they see is the outside appearance, right? And then that will tell them whether or not they feel comfortable enough to go inside. So curb appeal is everything. It is the first impression, right? It determines whether or not they want to get in their car and drive over to the home. It determines whether or not they want to stop the car and be enticed to come inside. Curb appeal matters, right? Again, curb appeal is the first impression that a home makes, right? So invest in the exterior. If you have shutters that are falling down, you want to go ahead and have someone tack that up or you tack it up. And then also get your house power washed, right? Make your home shine its best on the outside. I don't know if you, like there have been times when I have gone to a home because it looked beautiful on the outside, right? Never mind what it looked like on the inside. The outside is what enticed me to come and see the home, right? So you want to make sure that your outside of your home, the outside of your home that is, um, shines. The other thing is that when people look at your home on the outside, it's an indication or it could be an indication as to how you treat the inside, right? So again, you want to make a great first impression with the um, curb appeal. Add some new mulch. Mulch. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I, that um, accent uh, sometimes. Mulch. Mulch. Yes, uh, that's right. Mulch. Then now they're all different colors of, um, of mulch. You just want to make sure that it uh, matches your color of your home or it complements the color of your home. Right. Again, get your home power wash. Get those green stains off the sidings or what have you. If you have shutters, again, you want to make sure that that's taken care of. Any cracked windows, um, the home inspection home inspector will actually note any cracked windows that you have so go ahead and plate replace those window panes and then also guys um, get your grass cut <laughs> good take grass cut and don't just get the grass cut also trim the edges have someone trim the edges you can pay someone in the neighborhood to take care of your yard if that's not your specialty but they have it where they can edge it and it looks so beautiful to me it kind of reminds me of a man with the fresh cut hair right it's so aligned and it's so clean looking right also paint the front door if you're door has not been painted in a while and it looks like it's peeling off or it's kind of old well 
that may be the time when you think about putting your home on the market, it is a great time to paint the front door. Again, you want to make sure that the paint color of the door aligns with or matches your um, the, the outside of the facade of your home nicely. And also install some lighting. You know, you just really want to beef it up on the outside because, again, it is the first impression and it is the deciding factor of whether or not someone comes inside. The next one is the heart of the home, which is the kitchen. And I cannot stress to you, the, the kitchen and the bathroom are like the gold mines, right? Is what what attracts a lot of people, right? Now, in terms of the kitchen, which is what we're on now, renovate the kitchen. The kitchen is, again, the heart of the home. The kitchen is where everybody gathers. Some families cook together in the kitchen or just sit around talking. Like whenever I go to a um, family gathering, there's always someone or more than one person in the kitchen, right? So you want to update the fixtures. Sometimes with the kitchen is nothing more but a matter of painting the walls and then also changing the hardwares or the um and the fixtures. Any outdated fixtures, if you're trying to get top dollar for your home, you want to stay on top of what are the trends right now and how can I make this kitchen shine, right? Even if it means replacing the cabinet, sometimes you don't have to pull down the whole cabinet. Sometimes you can paint the front of the cabinet. Sometimes you can replace the front of the cabinet without having to pull the whole thing down from the wall. The other thing is replacing the countertops, right? Sometimes it's again a quick fix for you to just pop up the um, countertops and have someone replace it or you replace it. Also, if your appliances are older, right? Now, some people prefer um, some people prefer stainless steel. Some people prefer black um, uh, black appliances. Some people prefer white, right? And those things are fine. Like I wouldn't overthink that too much as long as it's all cohesive. You don't want mix match appliances, right? You want it to be the look to be cohesive because again, it makes like it, it gives the impression of value. And then also the floors, you want to make sure that the floors are nice, right? A lot of times in the kitchen, you know, you cook a lot, so you got things and stains, and then this could be a high traffic area. So you want to replace the floors if possible. Um, put some towel, nice towel down there. Just make sure that the floor is also very, very nice. And then also that hood that's above the stove. You want to make sure that it is functioning. And again, it is nice and it blends in well with the um, look of the kitchen as well as the backsplash. If you have a backsplash, just make it all cohesive. They say that the kitchen and the bathroom are the things that sell people, right? So on to the bathroom. Now, let me just say, that a vanity can make or break you, right? In terms of the size of the bathroom, right? If your home, if your bathroom, I should say, is on a smaller scale, then you can get a smaller vanity. So it does not take away from the space of the, um, of the bathroom, right? You can get a smaller vanity and then get some type of organizational system so that you can, because sometimes people want the vanity for that little cabinet underneath the sink, right? But you can get a pedestal type of vanity and then get like a shelf or something small to go beside um, the pedestal sink, right? So there are ways that you can capitalize or make the space appear to be larger. Also the fixtures, the fixtures um, in the shower, the fixtures um, on the vanity, if you have one as well as um, also guys, that um, medicine cabinet, I guess, if you will, with the mirror, you can really modernize that really um, in a very simple way by going to Home Depot and getting one that's a little more fancy than that traditional slide door vanity or not vanity uh, not vanity I'm sorry mirror and medicine cabinet again you can use that put just a mirror there and then also you can find another solution for storage 
you definitely do not want to neglect the shower and the bathtub. Make sure that that caulk around the edge is nice and clean. If you need to scrape it and recaulk it or have someone else do it, then do so. You want the kitchen and the bath to definitely shine. If you have those sliding doors in the bathroom shower, you want to make sure that you clean the tracks and make sure that everything is functioning properly. You don't want the door falling off, right? Make sure that everything is functioning properly. And then also the floor, you want to make sure that the towels are nice and clean and that they're durable and that they are um, nice looking and all cohesive again. If your shower if your shower curtain has seen better days, go ahead and replace it with another one, including the lining. Again, you want it to be very, very nice, you know, especially if it is a resale home. A lot of times people love new, 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 and that's fine. That's their preference. But yet at the same time, you can make a resale home look just as good as a brand new home. Another way to increase uh, your home value is to go energy efficiency. Energy efficiency with everything, with appliances, or with microwaves, with refrigerators, with um, washer and dryers. En energy efficiency will not only help you to save on your energy bill, but it will also help you to increase the value of your home. Including um, energy efficient windows, again, it will not only help you to save on your energy bill, but it will also increase the value of your home as well as the um, insulation. Upgrading the insulation, again, we've talked about the appliances, just go energy efficient. Even toilets can be energy efficient, right? So you want to do that. Also consider solar panels. And let me just say something about solar panels. The solar panels, um, it is a lease type of thing. So you really need to find out all as much as you can, I should say, about the solar panels. Um, you can sell them over to um, the new buyer if you were selling your home. Um, but a lot of times you're paying an extra um, monthly um, monthly payment with solar panels until they are paid off. So you really, really want to find out the details. Does it transfer with the home? What happens if the home buyer does not want the the new home buyer does not want solar panels, right? Solar panels, some people is is shaky with some people. Some people consider it a hazard, right? You have to they have to be clean underneath the. It's a safety hazard for some people or safety concern, I should say, for some people. So you really, really need to find out the details about solar panels. In fact, I might get somebody on my podcast to talk about solar panels. That's I'm going to have to write that down and find someone to give us the ins and outs of solar panels. OK, so stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and like this podcast and um, share it with everyone. Right. Another way to increase your home value is um, in creating an open floor plan. Now, let me just say that some people prefer open floor plans. Some people do not. So it can be relative, right? But open floor plans have a way of making a space appear to be larger. And, and also it makes the home um it makes the home appear to be bigger. I've already said it bigger. And also... It invites um, unity, I guess, or it invites uh, the opportunity for families to spend time together, right? So people in, in open floor plans are what's in right now. The traditional, um, actually, homes years ago, the d dining room, for example, was separated from everything, right? The kitchen was closed off from everything, right? So the more modern way to go is an open floor plan. But again, some people prefer open floor plans. Some people don't, but it is an option if you want to go modern day and increase the value of your home in this day and time. You can also increase the value of your home by adding additional living space, right? Now, remember to get your permits, but you can also do an extension off the back. You can finish off the basement or you can convert the attic. There are lots of ways that you can convert the attics. I love converting things, right? I think that's pretty cool. Converting the attic to maybe a game room or maybe a um a master bedroom in some cases, but converting your attic. A lot of times people have attics, but they do nothing with the attic, right? 
So adding an attic or converting, finishing off that space can be a great way to add a, an additional square footage to the home or add an addition off the back of the home. Any way that you can add more square footage will work to your advantage, but again, remember to get the proper permits. All right, now you can upgrade the floor. Now, for those of you who have hardwood floors, you want to make sure to buff them out and get them nice and clean and, and polished. And then also you want to replace any pieces that are broken off that can uh, be a safety hazard. Safety hazards are another thing that the home inspector look for. So you want to make sure that your floors are safe. Any um, Even with tile, if they're peeling up, you want to go ahead and replace either that tile. So let me just say that Everyone loves storage space. The more storage space that you can provide, the better. The more storage space, even for yourself, again, whether or not you're, you're staying in the property or preparing to sell, the, the more storage space you can give, the better, whether that be putting in a bigger shed, whether that be um, uh, purchasing organizational systems on my um, Facebook page, 50 Plus Home Team, I share some of the ways that you can increase um, or use or some organizational systems that you can use in your home to, um, you know, keep your home organized, but yet also provide storage space, right? So you can do um, add shelves in the closet or do like a built-in closet. Um, but they have organizational systems, whether you're organized in the bathroom, whether or not you're organized in the kitchen, there's an organizational system for every place in the home, right? So it's about making it more functional, right? By providing storage solutions, again, for yourself or for the potential new buyer. In terms of like, for example, a garage or even a shed, you have a bunch of empty space, right? Again, they have organizational systems that can create, help you to create um, or make this these space, I guess, more usable in a, um, I guess, efficient way. And then also, guys, if you notice, even the small um, repairs, some people are sticklers about that. A leaky faucet is one thing that a home uh, improvement, uh, I'm sorry, a home inspector will look for. So any cracks in the wall, any leaks, like don't ignore it because a buyer will not. Don't ignore it because you deserve to save energy, you deserve to save money, and you deserve to live in a place that makes you feel proud to um, be a homeowner, okay? And re replace any broken towels. Again, the window panes, things of that nature, you just want to walk through your home and you want to take a, uh, whether you were staying in the home or not, you want to take a honest look at your property and find out how can you make this work? How can you make it better, right? And I have to add that if you are, putting your home on the market, you want to make sure to have neutral colors. Not everybody likes wallpaper. Not everybody likes flowers. Not everybody likes bold colors, right? You want to keep it neutral. Again, beige, white, or gray. And even with the gray and the beige, you need to be selective so that it's not extremely dark, right? So you want to neutralize the home, right? Neutralize the colors, the, fo the floors, the walls, the fixtures. Um, so, and again, that's whether or not you're uh, preparing to sell. That's more for if you're preparing. Neutralizing is more for if you're preparing to put your home on the market. If it's yours, if it's your home, um, there's a difference between a house and a home. A home is something that you make your own and you personalize it to fit who you are. A house is some property that you're preparing to put on the market to sell for the most amount of dollars. So if you're neutralizing it, you're more than likely um, using the property to net some income. So you are preparing to sell. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. Again, remember that not all home improvements are created equal. Um, but there are home home improvements that you can do to increase the value of your home, regardless of what the real estate market is, right? So I hope that these things have been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and this podcast, whether you're li listening to the podcast or the YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe, guys, so that I can help you to procure your home investment, maintain it, and also keep it. Thank you so much for listening.